When it comes to dating in LA, the hardest part about dating is planning the date. Instead of a candlelight dinner or moonlight beach walk, I have a better idea for you to spend the day after Valentine's Day fun and unique. I started teaching um, shortly after I got back from my training in Europe, which was in 2001. I started teaching at one of my main competitors uh, out in West Hollywood. Uh, and I did that for about four years. And about two years into that four-year stint, I started to get a lot of feedback from my students, uh, complimenting me about my style and my patience and my support and my encouragement. So I decided uh, that in 2003, I would open up my own business. You have a lot of programs for different students. And one of them is really special. Mm -hmm. It's a class for couples. It it's is. very romantic. It's a very romantic set. It's actually, I, I can't take credit for it. My wife came up with the idea to have a couples-only cooking class. Um, and this is, uh, it, I've, I've actually hosted it for uh, siblings that have come in from out of town that are visiting, moms and daughters. But for the most part, it's couples, uh, either people that are on first dates or people that are, have been married for a long time and they just want to do something different. And uh, often enjoy cooking. They, of course, they love to eat and uh, this is a really nice way to uh, spend some time together, uh, a nice, uh, more intimate alternative than going to dinner in a movie. Um, it's uh, very popular during Valentine's Day, of course, but it, I, I tend to run one every Friday and Saturday night uh, about two times a month. As a chef, do you need to create some special menus just for the couples when they come in to learn? Yes, so my romantic couples, along with my date night dinner classes, I've got four different types of menus that uh, give a good variety for people. I have uh, many couples that come in that are vegetarian, so I have some fish dishes. I have uh, some couples that come in that are gluten-free and I, ca I can accommodate them. And I also have uh, couples that are meat and potatoes people and we definitely do some steak and roasted garlic mashed potatoes. So um, I, I definitely have, uh, one of the things that is really, I guess, a highlight with regards to the couples class classes is that the dishes are meant to be, uh, to, to cook pretty quickly because a lot of my students have really busy careers. We wind up creating dishes that they can, they can put together in an hour and a half and I even wind up giving them some tips, some things they can do ahead of time so on the night they can just go ahead and finish it really quick. Chef Erica, I'm ready to learn how to make a romantic dinner for okay. someone I love. So what will you teach me today? So what I think would work really great for you and your love is a nice uh, classic rice pilaf that I'm going to show you. Uh, some roasted asparagus, which is really easy to make, and a really nice canned roasted chicken breast with a lemon cream sauce. And we're going to start off, we're just going to melt that butter a little bit, and then we're going to cook this shallot and garlic a little. We're going to add the rice and stir it around in, in a nice heavy pot, and then we're going to add in our chicken broth, and we're going to put it in a bay leaf and a thyme sprig. We're going to bring it up to a boil, cover the pot, put it into a 350 oven, and bake it for about 15 minutes. We're simply going to cook this with a little bit of salt and pepper and then when the chicken is done, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the pan that we cooked the chicken in to make a sauce. We're going to use a little bit of water and some lemon juice. So with these lovely brown bits in the bottom of the pan, we're going to wind up bringing them up from the bottom in a technique that we call deglazing. We're going to put in some liquid, you can put in some water if you need to, a uh, mixture of wine and water would be great, or water and some lemon juice. And when that liquid goes into the pan, all those brown bits are going to get brought up. You're going to scrape them up with that spoon, and then we'll put in a little bit of heavy cream. I've had um, one couple uh, that I remember fondly that were celebrating an anniversary. I think it was their 10th year anniversary, and the husband rented a limo. And he bought the couple's class for him and his wife, and uh, he kept it all secret. And he brought her down here on a limo, and we received her, and he had flowers for her, and she was just completely blown away. She really enjoyed it. was. It really was. What I really enjoy most is getting feedback from my students. That's, that's really the, the, the most prideful thing I have. That's really what I uh, really enjoy getting feedback from is what they've done. And seeing your student getting much better and getting success in their it's career. Yeah. yeah. Wow, see what I made with the Chef Eric today. 
You could spend the day after Valentine's Day fun and romantic with the one you love by learning some cooking techniques. Sit one and prepare international gourmet plates with the best chef in LA. I'm Siwen reporting from Los Angeles for Cosmo Times.